Welcome to the Hottie Toddy Reader Spotlight, brought to you by the University Libraries. My name is Brian Young. I'm joined today by Bill Hayes. Bill is an instructor at the Department of Writing and Rhetoric. Please tell us what book you're recommending today. I'm recommending um, Hillbilly Elegy. Um, it's a memoir, but it's more than a memoir. And it's written by J.D. Vance. It's been out about uh, six months, and uh, it's a really hot topic right now. So I want to share my opinion with, uh, with you guys. All right, great. So what did you find most interesting about the book? I found this book interesting for a number of different reasons. And let me first of all say something about the title. Um, the word hillbilly may seem to be derogatory um, because it is a, a reference to uh, a socioeconomic group of people that sometimes is not used uh, in a positive way. But like many terms like that, if the people who are in that group use the word themselves, then it's okay. They just don't want outsiders to use it. So here we have uh, a young man who considered himself a hillbilly and still does. I am from Eastern Kentucky and part of my life grew up in the same small Appalachian town that he did, although I didn't know it until I read the book. So I found it personally interesting. But I also found it interesting because in terms of creative writing now, memoirs and creative nonfiction are where it's quote at. And so it fits nicely uh, into that genre of creative writing. Thirdly, it addresses the uh, historical movement of the uh, uh, Southern Appalachian migration uh, after the coal mines uh, automated. There are large numbers of people who needed work and so they migrated north to industrial centers and then after a while those uh, jobs disappeared as well because uh, they were shipped overseas. And so the book is interesting for many reasons. And so why should our faculty, staff, or students at the university read the book? Well, they should read it for all three of those reasons. Uh, because among other things, I'm starting to make friends here and they can learn a little bit about me by reading this book. But in addition to that, very, very germane to what's going on right now. Uh, uh, politically, even if you take presidential candidates out of the picture, uh, there's a very large uh, uh, group of voters right now who are very angry and have felt disenfranchised for a long time. And this uh, book helps us understand those people a bit more. And, and that is the, the white, unemployed, working class voter, um, uh, particularly males. And, you know, they form, once they left Southern Appalachia and they moved to the industrial centers of the North, um, they took their culture with them. And now that uh, all the factories have dried up there, they've turned to very destructive uh, uh, lifestyles in many cases. Um, their families have been torn apart. That's part of the idea of elegy. Um, uh, it, it's not a hopeless book. But it's a book that I think allows us to understand a lot of the anger that we see in that particular group in uh, the American electorate today. Uh, the book is often read as a companion book. All right. So if you're interested in reading Hillbilly Elegy, you can check out a copy at the J.D. Williams Library. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you.